Welcome YouTubers, fans of tabletop gaming, those of you who are also interested in alternative model or model parts. Um, I found this company online called Zealot Miniatures. I'm not sure where they're out of. I think they're out of Poland, maybe? Not sure, but that's the name of the company. And this is what I bought. So I've already opened this up already, and I've done it. But this is kind of like a box opening here. Uh, a little thank you thing from them that you get within your boxes. They're on Facebook and Twitter. But what caught my eye is when you play Tau, you always run across that one guy who has something to say about the Tau army. And... In the Tau army, there's only one female that we all know, and uh, where is she? Here she is. It's Commander Shadow Sun. She's the only actual female that has been given to us, Tau players, and therefore, being that Tau players used to be gray-skinned, now they're blue-skinned, um... <clears throat> are called Smurfs. Why? Because the Smurfs, if you don't know what they are, they're a cartoon from the 80s, early 80s, mid 80s, whatever. They had a whole bunch of little blue gnome type people and there was one, one female. So I didn't like my army being called Smurfs. And the only other model that uh, they came out with was with the ghost keel with the optional head on the inside that you could get that could show that it was a female if you had the canopy uh, open. So then you could possibly have two females. But the only real female in lore and everything is Commander Shadow Sun. So I bought these online. Now, Zealot Miniatures has a lot of their own uh, models that they make, and they also make a lot of outstanding parts for conversions. And they've got everything from weapons to to guitars and all kinds of crazy things. But what caught my eye on their website were these torsos. Now, this is the main reason why I bought it. is because if you look at the abdomen area, you'll see that it is very similar pattern to uh, the leg pattern on your, your fire warriors. So, I thought, hey perfect and it's a good solid resin there's a little notch here on the back that you'll have to sand off for conversion pieces um, there's a little hole in the neck for drilling in and when you do drill in you got to be careful because there's not a whole lot of material there on the neck versus the normal tau model torso um, because this is after all supposedly female and it's designed by a different company. So when you do the work on this, if you can look at that there, you're gonna notice that the arms are at a at a V shape where your normal fire warriors have that square look. Uh, here's a let me see, here's a here's a pathfinder that we'll use as an example. See how much broader the back is. Get into position here. Broader the back is versus that one. So you're gonna notice that. Games Workshop models are designed a specific way. These are not. So you're going to do a lot of filling in on the backs and on the shoulder pieces. And then be careful because if you drill too deep, you'll get into the torso and you'll screw it up. But this is the one version of the torso. This is the other one that they created. I don't know if you can see the belly button there or not. Um... If you paint it right, and you pose the model right, you won't even notice that stomach. Because on a lot of the fire warriors, like for example, this one here that I'm priming out and starting to paint, the weapon is so close to his chest, you can't even see the emblem on his chest. So there's a lot of ways you can hide uh, the belly button or, um, you know, the gaps that you're going to have on the back. So what I did is I made a couple of them. That are female warriors. Here's this one here. She's scanning. But 
notice how well they look. I mean, the torso piece with the leg armor looks really good. Now, if you want to get technical, and not that anybody's really going to ever notice, um, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap here. There's a little bit of a gap underneath the armpit. But nobody really looks there when you're playing the game, so who cares, right? And you can hide it. But there is an actual female Tau warrior. Sweet, right? When you put her next to your standard Fire Warriors, they are just a smidgen taller. And that's because of the neck design is fat. And the torso piece has got a little space because it's a different manufacturer. So you're going to have to do a little bit of work, but it's going to turn out really good, as you can see here. Um, I have another one. This one is in the ready position. And there was a lot of work on this one because I had to file down the model's right breast to get that weapon to fit in there because you know like this pose here you can never use on that torso because uh, there's just too much sanding you'll lose the detail and the purpose of showing that it's a female um, it just this pose here yeah no good but most of my females that I have uh, and then I'm going to be creating as you can see I got two more bags of this stuff so those bag is in the box there um, it's easier to have them in the open position, not to show that they're female warriors and that they have boobs uh, or breasts. Uh, it's just that it's easier to model them uh, because like with this one here, um, it was very tight. I mean, if you look, I don't know if you can see it or not, but inside there, uh, what's holding this arm in place is in fact the shoulder pad. There's no way you can get that arm to connect to the torso to hold the gun the way it's supposed to uh, because of the model vari variations from the Games Workshop traditional to Zealot Miniatures uh, conversion pieces that I've put on there. So what is holding her arm is actually the shield. So you're going to have to do a lot of Mickey Mousing like that. But it'll work. It'll work. I mean, it looks great. Um, here I made a Shazui. She has the traditional commander troop commander's uh, sword there yep that is a breacher's rifle um, the reason with that is because I'm trying to stick to the Tau Delith I think is how you pronounce it Delith group um, and in the fluff breachers uh, only take men they don't take females well, I don't know but I originally thought, oh, I'll put a female breacher in my breacher unit. And then I realized I couldn't do that. So I said, okay. Well, she's going to be carrying uh, a pulse carbine. Or, you know, if no one doesn't really matter. And I said, yeah, it's actually a breacher's gun. You know, which is, this is basically a shotgun for the Tau. Um, then, you know, that's cool. But if they say, you know, you can't use a breacher within, you know, the, the normal carbine unit because it's pretty close looking so it'll pass as a carbine if the guy that I'm playing with is totally anal um but I made her in a running pose like she's like let's go guys and as you can see the female figures match perfect with my army therefore I don't have a smurf army I have a bunch of females in there I've got uh so far, six produced, or, well, no, let's see, I got uh, about eight of them made already. I've got another ten more to make, so that's a, almost a whole other troop. But what I'm doing is, since I've got a bunch of older models, I'm going to be switching them out. And I'm going to be doing new color coding for my army. They were going to be all red banded like this guy here. But uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do like green. Um, let me see if I can find another one here. Uh, like, for example, here's an orange unit. And this is a little conversion piece. <laughs> Everybody knows what that model is, right? <laughs> Tank driver. Decided to go out onto the field. And I made him a commander because he was different looking. And because I thought, you know what? He's got the, the mononoculars. And then before they actually made um, 
marker lights, I made my own, and that is a marker light equipped pulse rifle. So, um, yeah, I'm going with different colors just to show the variations of um, my armies. I've got now a bunch of females. The torsos are great. They look good. Um, and I think they're awesome. And I got them all at da -da -da -da, zealotminiatures.com. So go check them out, guys. Uh, they got some really good stuff. And the prices are really reasonable. Um, what I paid for these, and the funny thing was, is every time I'd go to order these things, they were out. I was like, come on. So they're a pretty hot item. So if they're there and you play Tau and you want to add female warriors to your, your groups, uh, buy them then. Don't, don't wait and say, oh, I'll get them later. Because by the time you go back to get them, they will be sold out. Because it's, it's a hot moving item. But as you can see, man, you can't tell the difference until someone says, oh, look at the Smurf army. And then you go, no, dummy. Look how many girls I got in my army and they're kicking your ass. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching the video. Had fun making it. Talk to you later. Bye.